Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with the X model. In this video I'm going to work with the X show and X if. So let's come here and let's start from scratch, remove everything. First let's see what is the X show in AlpineJS. X show is a directive that allows you to conditionally show or hide an HTML element based on the value of a JavaScript expression or property. Using XShow, you can toggle the visibility of an element based on changes in your application state or user input, creating dynamic and responsive user interfaces. So let's start and add an example here. So I'm going to say a div with uh, X data, which is going to be equal double quote and curly braces. And here I'm going to say show initially is going to be true and in this div now i'm going to add another div let's say, let's say div here and i'm going to use now the x show directly which is going to be equal with the show property here now here i'm going to say that this element will be shown or hide shown or hidden based on uh, the show value in this code now we use in the x data the create a data object with the show property that is initially set to true and we are then using the x show to conditionally show or hide the div element based on the value of the show uh, property. When show is true, this div element will be displayed. When the show is false, the div element will be high. So let's see on the browser. This is shown now because the show value is true. If I change that, the uh, false come here yeah we don't see okay now let's add here button and i'm going to use the click event here and i'm going to assign with this with show when we click to this button i'm going to assign the show with the opposite of the show value is right now and i'm going to say here just toggle so when we click the sh this button if the show is true this is going to be the opposite so it's going to be false and vice versa let's come here and refresh click here click click it's showing hide show and hide okay now let's work with the x if what is the x if x if is a directive that allow you to conditionally render an html element based on the value of a javascript expression or a property using x if you can toggle the existence of an element in the dom based on the changes in your application state or user input creating dynamic and responsive user interfaces now i'm going to copy this because it's similar and duplicate down there just here now i'm going to say uh, show if example and i'm going to copy and paste a change here now instead of x show here i'm going to use the x if so let's say x if and better is to just let's cut this one and use a template and now inside the template paste that and wrap this div with template if save and let's see on the browser we have two toggles this is for the show and this is for the height and also let's change this toggle show and toggle if okay 
yeah toggle show here toggle if here now what is the difference between the x show and x if the main difference between alpine js x show and s x if is that x show only toggle the visibility of an html element while the x if conditionally render or remove an element from the DOM. Okay, so now let's uh, inspect the element here and let's see both of them. Here is the, for the show and here is for the if example. As you can see, here is the button and here is the div for the x show is applied the style display none for the x if nothing. If I click to this toggle show, it's removed that uh, style and it's showing or is applied with style. So this is how it's showing and hide when you use the X show. Now let's click the if example. If I click here, as you can see, here we have the div. If I toggle again, if it is going to remove, it's going to hide, show or, or uh, add or remove the element. So when we when you use the X show, the element remains on the DOM, but its visibility is toggled based on the value of the expression or property you specify. This means that the element style and event bindings are preserved even when it's when it's not visible. On the other hand, when you use uh, XE, the element is completely removed from the DOM if the expression or property va evaluates the false. Now, when the element is conditionally rendered, completely recreated in the DOM with all of its styles and event bindings. Now, the advantages of using XShow is that it can be used to toggle the visibility of an element without affecting its state or event bindings. This can be useful for elements that are expensive to create such as uh, complex components or large lists. Now, in the other hand, using the XIF is that uh, it allows you to conditionally render or remove entire section of HTML which can improve performance and reduce the complexity of your templates. However, this comes at the cost of potentially recreate the element and its state every time it's conditionally rendered. Okay friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video.